In this video we're going to talk about using location blocks in the Nginx configuration. This is the most used context block in any Nginx configuration and it's how we'll define and configure the behavior of specific URIs or requests. Think of location blocks as intercepting a request based on its value and then doing something other than just serve it to the client. As we saw in the previous video, at the moment when we send a request, Nginx looks for a file matching that URI relative to the root directive we defined in our server block. For example, this titlewide.png image uh, or the bootstrap CSS file, but if we type in, for example, slash greet or any other URI that Nginx cannot match to a file relative to the root, then obviously we get a 404. Now let's configure that slash greet root and give it some hypothetical purpose. Back to the Nginx configuration file, I'll add a location block inside the server context, but notice how this takes a parameter before opening the context braces. And in our case that parameter is slash greet, to match the root we're trying from the browser. To keep things simple here, yeah, I'll just say return, and this return directive takes two arguments, the response code and the data to return to the client. We'll return status 200, and then just a simple string, hello from nginx location block. And we'll reload that configuration, refresh our browser, and as expected, we get that string returned to us. Now, there's several ways of matching URIs on location blocks, and the one we just used is called the prefix match, meaning that it matches any URI starting with slash greet, including slash greeting or even slash greet and then another path. Literally anything starting with slash greet. If, however, we didn't want this behavior, we can do an exact match by adding the equal sign or modifier before the match. And we'll just copy that same return statement and modify it slightly to show us the update. Reload the configuration, refresh, and now we get a 404, as that greet slash something root is no longer matched on the server. And we'll see the same for slash greeting. But if we simply navigate to slash greet, we get that new message from the exact match location. Okay, so prefix and exact matches are great, but we can go one step further and match our URIs with a regular expression. I'll create a new location block here, and this time we'll use a tilde character as the match modifier to indicate that this is a regular expression match. And I'll just again do a match for slash greet, and let's say any number from 0 to 9 after that. Copy that return statement with a new message, and you'll notice here that this is in fact a case-sensitive match. Nginx doesn't support the normal regex flags, but you can specify case-sensitive or case-insensitive, which we'll look at next. Right, reload that configuration file, refresh, and of course now just slash greet gives us a 404. But when we go ahead and add a number to that path, we get the desired message. But were we to make one of those E characters uppercase, we again get a 404. And like I mentioned, that's because this match with the tilde only is case sensitive. So to change this is very simple. All we need to do is add an asterisk before the tilde, and now our regular expression is case insensitive. And we can transparently match both upper and lower case characters, should that be a requirement. The final modifier uses again a tilde, this time prefixed with a caret. But this is essentially the same as the basic prefix modifier, only more important than a regular expression, by which I mean, should this priority prefix and a regular expression block match the same request, this prefix will be used, whereas normally the regular expression would be considered more important. It's important to understand the order in which Nginx matches requests, and they are as follows. Number one is the exact match. Should an exact match exist for a URI, that will always be the location block used, regardless of any other matching location block. Second, the preferential prefix. Again, this is the same as that basic prefix match, but enjoys priority. Third, it's the regular expression matches. Should, however, both a case-sensitive and case-insensitive location match a request, not that this should really ever happen, then the first block will simply be used, as Nginx has no way of prioritizing one over the other. And finally, the lowest of the lot is the very basic prefix match that we looked at first. Any other match from the variation above will be prioritized over this one. Okay, so of course the demonstrations that I used wasn't anything practical, uh, but let's see a simple way that this might be used. 
I'm going to just clear all of this. And if we look in slash sites, I've created a new directory called downloads. And inside downloads, we have two more directories, namely docs and flags. And as we can see, flags is just a collection of images of countries' flags, and docs, a small collection of some text files, each of which contains a short string. Back on the configuration file, let's say we want to make these files available to clients under slash downloads, as it is on the server, but of course it's located outside of our vhost's root directory. What we can do is create a basic location block with a prefix match of slash downloads, set the root directory inside the lo that location's context to slash sites, and then use the try files directive to tell Nginx what to look for in that root directory. We'll cover the try files directive in more detail later, but essentially we're just telling Nginx to first try and match the URI, and this is just a variable provided by Nginx, otherwise return a 404. Let's reload back to the browser, and now if we try downloads slash docs slash greet.txt, we'll see that plain text file being served. Likewise, if we search for one of those flag images, let's say unitedkingdom.gif, we see the UK flag, and the same for the US flag. That wraps up location blocks, and whilst they're very simple, they're also very powerful, and will be used multiple times in most Nginx configurations. So it's definitely worth knowing the variations of match modifiers and the order of their importance.